Hello and welcome to Miller City High School, where tonight we have Division 5 District Final Volleyball between the top-seeded Bluffton Lady Pirates and the number two seed, the, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans, and a winner-take-all for the district championship. Garrett Mansfield next to Nate Garlock tonight, and Nate, we take in two of really one of the best programs in our area the la or this last volleyball season. A collision course with the, the new division set up here this year as well. We'll get through that uh, throughout the evening, but two teams that are really, really high marks on the regular season and still at it in the postseason. Yeah, I mean, these both these teams have had incredible years so far. 20-3 and three overall for the Bluffton Pirates. Ottawa Glendorf, they come in with a 17-7 and seven record, but that's a little deceiving in the fact that six of those losses came within the first few weeks of the year. At one point this year, they were 3-6. and six. Since then, 14-1, and one, probably the most dangerous two-seed in all the state. And the opening serve... From Ottawa Glandorf, Addie Bellman gets it started and she's gonna go with an ace. Bluffton pretty sure handed on serve receive at well over 90%, but an ace for the Lady Titans right off the bat. You know, and that's the way that you want to get this match started if you're Ottawa Glandorf. Come out, see if you can't get Bluffton on their heels a little bit, maybe a little of those jitters. See that one be able to get back over and just out. Get to these starting lineups here. First for Ottawa Glandorf, Carly Crawfish, Marley Buttlemeyer, Annie Bellman, Sienna Fry, Greta Liebricht, and Caitlin Kimmett for the Lady Titans for Bluffton, Gracie Yarnell, Carly Laura, Kendall Stackhouse, Gracie Warren, Laney Grandy, and Avery Talavini. There's a big hit and dug out, but we have an infraction up against the net against Bluffton. So the point will go to Ottawa Glandorf. You saw a uh, quick substitution there for the Pirates as number 12 Vanessa Cross had come in to take the service. And I think they feel like they kind of wasted that rotation for her. And a Kimmet long serve for Ottawa Glandorf. Makes this contest 3-1 in favor of the Lady Titans. On that, make it 2-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Serve in the air for Bluffton's Carly Laura. Dug out by the Lady Titans, big hit, but dug out nicely by Vanessa Cross, just checked in. She'll bump it over the top. And here's the big hit for Ottawa Glandorf. Came from Sienna Fry, but just outside the boundary. Fry is a dangerous target. Leads the team in kills, over four kills a set. The just miss hit there, and the serve is out of bounds on Bluffton. Yeah, Sienna Fry is so good at the net. You're watching her during warm-ups, and the, the height that she gets, the power that she gets, and her trajectory, all of warm-ups, you know, I was watching it going, she looks like she is ready to go. A little bit too much on that first one, but she is going to be a big factor in this one today. The serve received by Cross, and Bluffton has to send the third hit over. Left-handed hit for Fry, kept alive and out on Ottawa Glendorf, so that'll be a Bluffton rally. See Cameron Frucci right there to meet her at the net. No hesitation whatsoever. Great job as now Bluffton takes the lead for the first time tonight. Ayla Grandy on the serve and a gimme for Kendall Stackhouse. She's the number two attacker behind Grandy. Bluffton by two. And long by Grandy on the service. And now OG will serve it up. Sienna Fry, the junior Western Buckeye League Player of the Year. Back to start the next point. And long on the hit. And now just trading long serves. Tell the girls are a little jacked up here tonight, ready to go. They know what's on the line, both of them. You know, wanting to uh, come away with that victory tonight, obviously. And I think you're seeing a little bit of nerves as they're trying to settle in. Serve for Gracie Yarnell, and that's an ace. And a lot of scoring on the serve game already tonight. And not a lot of back and forth here in the early going, that's for sure. Here's Yarnell in the next serve. On the attack for Ottawa Glandorf. 
Set goes back to Fry from the back row, but dug out by the Pirates. Nicely done by White, but Bluffton's going to return it. We just got done saying how it's been back and forth, no real long volleys, and here we go. So that ends, ends up in a point for the Titans. Ella White with the kill. White is one of three Lady Titans with over 100 kills on the campaign. This is a Carly Coffis serve. Attack for Stackhouse, dug out by Coffis, and a beautiful set. Caitlin Kennett knew exactly where the Pirates were not and landed it nicely in the back row. Yeah, Caitlin couldn't have put that in a better spot. It, it was such a heads up play, had her eyes going the right direction, put it, and no Bluffton Pirate could even make a move for it. And that'll be 2,000 career assists for Addie Bellman, the OG setter. She's got a whole host to give the ball to. See if Bluffton can set something up. Here's Stackhouse, dug out by the Titans for Fry. And it won't be handled. Laura got under it, but couldn't direct it into the air. We're knotted up at seven. And you got to think that they don't want Santa Fry to continue to get the ball so far away from the net. That time it worked out great, though. The great placement as that one goes out, and it's another point for the Titans. Long set for Stackhouse. Outside for Fry. And now Bluffton returns the ball. Set for White, excuse me, for a Kimmett. And she finishes nicely, right in the middle. Yeah, that was a great set by Addie Bellman. She didn't try to put too much height on it, do too much with it, put it in a great spot. And it was a good finish as the Titans now back on top one. Long serve from Carly Crawford. Eight all here in the early going. Again, a 20-win Bluffton program. Six and one in the Northwest Conference this year. As the serve in from Libby Hawkinson and another Pirate Ace. And she just dropped that one right in. The middle of the floor was wide open. Nice job taking some power off of that serve to get the point. Hawkinson, and we got a rotation air against OG. So another freebie to the Pirates. To get to this point for Bluffton, they had the top seed, so they got a buy into the district semis. One of the intricacies of the new seven division postseason. Bluffton able to keep that one alive and rally to the ball. Set for Ella White, and she finishes off for the OG point. That one found its way out of bounds. And you were talking about, you know, this expanded divisions for volleyball has really opened up a lot of other opportunities for schools. You know, we were talking prior to coming on the air how long it's been since either one of these teams, you know, walked away with a district championship. And just being able now to play in these big games late in the tournament I think a lot of schools are really enjoying um, this expansion that they did and any kind of that, any of that trepidation that it may be, you know, because change doesn't always equal a good thing. I think it's right. kind of gone away as they've gotten into this and they've seen the games that the girls have been able to play. You see, it's because there's more divisions as they, we have another out of a Glendor point to tie the contest it has not necessarily equated that it's, it makes it easier to get out of districts. Not at all. Because you see, we have a, the kind of game we have tonight, a 20-3 and three team in Bluffton and a 17-win program in Ottawa Glandorf. Uh, you know, that doesn't scream easy to me no, what, not, whatsoever. Not, not at all. Ottawa Glandorf comes in, the Western Buckeye League champions from this year. Well, look at that touch, beautiful by Kimmett. Perfectly executed. And that's a three-point rally for Ottawa Glandorf. Greta Liedbrick to serve this one up for the Lady Titans. Met by the Lady Pirates. There's the attack for Carly Laura. And we're back at 11 all. And continue to exchange points back and forth. This one stays tight. It's going to be interesting as we move through this one and through this match as a whole. 
you know, it has been six weeks since Ottawa Glandorf has has had to play anything more than three sets. Yeah. It has been a long time. They've won, a, you know, they've kind of hit this role, and they've won, you know, pretty convincingly during it. it. It'll be very interesting to see how, if this thing goes into a fourth and fifth set, how they are mentally as they hit those matches or those sets. Yeah. Going to take the one-point lead here. Well, it's been a pair of sweeps, as you mentioned, Nate, to even start the tournament trail for Ottawa Glandorf. Lady Titans took down Elmwood, and then Paulding. And now here they are against Bluffton, the Lady Pirates. Their one tournament performance so far, they took down the three seed in, in Fairview. And Fairview, if you know anything about volleyball north of Lima, Fairview is one of those programs that is always in the mix this time of year. They were the GMC runner-up. As Ottawa Glandorf takes a two-point advantage. Serve on the way from Addie Bellman. Sent in the middle for Laura. Blocked, but kept alive by the Pirates. Carly Crawford with the pass to Sienna Fry. Now Ayla Grandy. And too wide on the cross-court attack. Yeah, I, the height advantage that OG has right now with the net, I think it's really coming into play as we're going to have our first time out of the night. And we'll take it as well. 14-11 in this first set head from Miller City on WOSN. Back at Miller City for our district final tonight. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor, bring a resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Ottawa Glandorf on a bit of a roll as the Lady Titans force a Bluffton timeout. And there Laura in the middle with the attack but dug out by the Lady Titans. Pushed on over. Now here's Grandy with a hit. Titans have to rally to the ball, but one bad angle is not going to get it returned. And there's the good timing by head coach Kevin King, firing that timeout and getting a point out of it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all you can ask for coming out of that timeout. A little bit of that momentum starting to go towards OG. They were starting to feel it. You wanted to halt that, regroup your girls. They did exactly that to get the point coming right out of that timeout. Serve in the air from Vanessa Cross. Look at that from Kemet. And... Grandy with the touch after the great dig by Avery Talavini. One-handed dig by Addie Bellman. Both of these teams rallying to the ball really well, but there Ayla Grandy, the senior, comes through, leading kill racker up for Bluffton, continues to add to her total. Yeah, Grandy did a great job with that ball. I mean, she... You, I'm very impressed with the accuracy as you're seeing some of these girls, they're looking right where they want it to go and they are sending it back with a laser. Good serve, Kimmett. It's dug out by Gracie Warren. Now Grandy, she's blocked and near the Bluffton bench, they're not going to be able to catch up to it. And that's what we were talking about prior to going to the break was the length of the Titans at the net. That's where they're going to have the advantage and you saw it come into play right there. Here's Caitlin Kimmett, second team Western Buckeye League player this year. Digs that one out, but got a tighten in the net. They're going to call that to be Bluffton's point. Yeah, not quite sure who he whistled on. I thought they threw up a 12, but I, don't, I didn't see her out yeah. there at the time. Long on the serve for Bluffton. So Carly Laura gives the point back to Ottawa Glandorf as we get to the late stages of this first set. Everyone is going to be valuable. Maya McLaughlin is on to serve for Ottawa Glandorf. And the South Paul sends it into play. Tavolini meets Libby Hawkinson. She finishes with the kill. So great communication from the Pirates that time. Uh, she was coming over, ran over, called it, knew she had the good angle at it, and ultimately ends up leading with the point. You can't ask for much better in a possession. 
Ooh, and some miscommunication. Yeah, as good as it was on the other end, it, it failed on the Titans side. And we're all tied up at 16. So Ayla Grandy with the ace to tie it up. Crawfus received the serve. Now Sienna Fry, good block up front for Bluffton. And look at that, Ella White just popped it over the top. Good finesse. Yeah, Ella did a nice job of disguising that on her way up. And that halted the tight or the Pirates just enough. And nice little layover on the other side for the easy point. Here's Sienna Fry. Out. Now we're kind of back to seeing these serves get a little bit long, back-to-back yep. -back points. I think everybody with a seat in here tonight probably expected the tight scoring through this first set. And it'll be an ace for Bluffton. And they're going to say in the net. They're going to get Bluffton the call on that. Yep. You hear the Titan faithful not happy with that call, but even from up here, that one looked pretty clear. Gracie Yarnell on the serve, one of two first teamers in the Northwest Conference for Bluffton. The libero Tala, Talavini on cue was the other. That was close to the back end, and they're gonna get a touch. The back judge, or the line judge on the appeal for Bluffton did indeed see the touch. That's a Bluffton point. And now Ottawa Glandor feeling that that momentum is going away. They're going to take their first time out. We'll step aside as well. Bluffton has tightened it up and taken the lead at Miller City. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Miller City, host of the Division Five District Final, and out of the timeout by Ottawa Glandorf, Bluffton tallies on another Gracie Yarnell with another ace. And you see Gracie Lammers coming back in for Ottawa Glandorf, but kind of the opposite, well, the exact opposite of what we saw when Bluffton took their timeout. They came out and got the point right away. Ottawa Glandorf still reeling a little bit, but that'll help. Ella White with the point. Several kills for White on that front left. 20 to 18, Carly Crawfus serving it up next for the Titans. And a tough receive to haul in. Carly Laura pats the, the chest and says, I'll do better next time. Yeah, Arnell had a hard time, I think, reading that one. Thought maybe she was going to be able to get to it before it got into the net. Kind of got caught in no man's land. From the middle, it's Stackhouse who is blocked. Yeah, you said it, Garrett. And I don't think anybody thought that there was going to be any runaway sets. They're coming firing here in set one, showing that these two teams are evenly matching up for the challenge as it is 2020. Just tapped over by Hawkinson, and we got the whistle stopping play. We're going to get two touches against OG during that bustling exchange. Setting up Hawkinson now to serve. Set for Bellman, and Caitlin Kimmett lays the hammer down. Yeah, it's never bad when you're in a position to need a point to be able to send her flying to the net. She made sure she buried that one for the point. Buttlemeyer and Liebrich return for OG. The set now Stackhouse. She pops that one down. And Bluffton, a point closer to taking our first set. And just power right there. Just everything she had hoping to be able to get that one off of a, one of the Lady Titans, and she did right there at the front of the net. 50-50 ball in the middle, goes over on Bluffton's end. Bellman set for Kimmett, and a diving attempt from Yarnell, just short, tied again. And I just found the perfect place on the floor for that one. Didn't have to put too much on it. 
There's a big, wide open spot right in the middle of the floor, and she took advantage of it. Seed by Talavini. In the middle, Laura Wada. What a, what a great plot. Yeah, great placement, great hit. I mean, I, none of the Titans were even leaning that way when that one came across. She just wound the clock and unloaded. Two points to go for Bluffton, but Ottawa Glandorf is a short run away from taking it themselves. Bellman to Kimmett in the score. This is the, the interesting part of, of rally scoring volleyball, is even though you get the point, you still have to give the ball away <laughs> right, right. right off the bat. And that played into Ottawa Glandorf right there, getting to respond to the score. Short serve, but met for Bluffton. Now Laura in the middle. Got some help on the top of the net and landed it in. That's set point. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of points here in this first set. Land, I mean, you know, clearly you always want to put it where they're not, but just wide open spots, nobody anywhere close. You, you wonder if they're getting themselves a little bit too bunched when uh, these rallies are happening. So Carly Laura with the ace, and that's how it ends what in a set great one. Serve. That is so quintessential to the way this set has gone. A lot of aces and a a lot of scoring off of the serve game. And Bluffton with a narrow victory in set one. We'll take the timeout, return for set number two. Crucial set coming up next on WOSN. Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor tonight. Bring, bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Set number two, get ready to start. You know, again, I, I gotta think that second set's not gonna look too much different from that first one. These two teams seem so evenly matched. They each have their strength. Uh, they take advantage of the advantage that they have when, they, when it presents itself but they ever, you don't ever see them get too far down. There's, the body language is still good. They've been answering rallies. I mean, this has been a really fun first set so far, and I imagine we're going to see a lot of the yep. same here in the second. Pirates took the first set 25-23, and they did it on an ace, and they get one right out of the gate. Libby Hawkinson. Yeah, that ace that ended that first set, just it, it just ate her up. It came right at her. Uh, Crawfish really couldn't do too much with it. Ruffin coming back out, firing again. There's a hit for Marley Buttlemeyer. Evens it right back up. Ottawa Glendorf sends Addie Bellman to serve next. Goes into play, it's met by Gracie Warren. And now Laura has her attempt blocked, but continues on their end. Bellman's long pass for Buttlemeyer. Now there's Stackhouse. And there's Buttlemeyer, back-to-back -back kills for the OG Junior. Yeah, Buttlemeyer did a great job, had herself in good position. Used every part of that floor over there to be able to make sure they could get the point. Here comes Bellman. Set by Yarnell and Laura. Did she get a touch? Yeah, I, I did didn't indeed. see a tip. And they said that they're... The back of the line judge yeah. over here on their end. So there's a couple of close touches. They've been able to get the call. 2-2. Avery Talavini will serve next. First teamer in the Northwest Conference this year that Bluffton finish runner-up to Crestview. Lady Knights were just one of three losses on the regular season for Bluffton. <laughs> that went out, it went over to the official. Had a lot of little extra sting on that one. Pirates will re-rack. Go again, Talavini, low line drive, but met by Sienna Fry. Still in the air. Ayla Grandy, back corner, she got it. Grandy doing a nice job keeping that one in. One of Bluffton's three defeats this year 
was to Shawnee in the second match of the season. That was one of the late wins for Ottawa Glendorf over the Lady Indians to claim the Western Buckeye League title, their 12th in program history. And it's a three ball that went over. And you know, I think one of the things that's the most impressive about that, that Titans winning that Western Buckeye League, right? Nobody was really talking about that. The, all the conversation in the Western Buckeye League surrounded Shawnee mm -hmm. and how the season ended last year with them and the success they had, who they had coming back. And, you know, Ottawa Landorf was unfazed by all of that. They they went through the struggles in the other part of their schedule. They righted the ship, and they ended up going undefeated in, in conference champs. Yep. And, you know, they were like, that's fine. Let the focus be on somebody <laughs> else. We'll take care of us. That seems to be the, the Titan way sometimes. <laughs> You're right, there, it does. There's like that slow heartbeat. We're going to control what we can. And, you know, you got to say kudos to that community because that's really, they're not going to get too high, too down. They expect excellence. And so there might be that expectation to carry through. But, hey, they don't have any problem with the conversation being elsewhere. And I'm not sure if they say that she got that one off the floor. But either way, another close call so was going close. against the Titans. Those really seem to be racking up here in the, you know, yeah. through the first set and the other part of the second. And it's only going to ratchet up as this match continues and we get the constant back and forth. And the, the air is going to compound with a rotation air on Ottawa Glandor. Unforced airs right now are close calls. And that really is the difference. And, you know, that's why the Titans find themselves down one set. But that's a cross. Junior for Bluffton sends the ball into play. Bellman back set for Fry. Man, hard to do anything with there, but a heck of a dig by Cross. Fry again. And the Pirates can't get that one back. I mean, Fry just peppering the Pirates with that one. I mean, it takes a lot to stand in front of those. And when you see them continually coming, especially back to back like that, nice job getting one back up, but two is just a little bit too much. Gracie Lammers will serve it next. Ooh, that one just died. It took a downward trajectory. At Salavini that time, I think she, she really thought that that one was going to go too deep, called her teammates off, and just misjudged that one a bit. So Lammers will set it up again. Yarnell to Grandy. And kill for Bluffton. You know, Grandy didn't do a whole lot there, right? She didn't try to do too much. She didn't try to put a lot of power on it. It was just accurate with her shot, and it was enough to get her team the points. Carly Laura will serve it. Met by Fry. The hit for White goes long on a cross-court try. Two-point advantage for Bluffton. Lady Pirates are the last team standing in their conference. And another ace adds to the lead to three. Yeah, just a miss at that time. Sienna Fry was in the right spot. Could have, I mean, it wasn't one of those things where she wasn't going to be able to get her hands in the right position. Just a little bit of panic as that, that serve came on her. Now McLandorf will take a timeout, not wanting the Pirates to run away too far. We'll take the break and be back to Miller City after this on WOSI. Welcome back to Miller City. Lady Titans of Ottawa Glandorf and Bluffton meeting here for the district title on the line. Division five here in Northwest Ohio. Lady Titans have kind of stopped the bleeding a little bit, but Bluffton finds another answer. Big hit, Libby Hawkinson. Uh, out to the largest lead in either the first set or this one at this point for either side. And it's a four point difference. And, you know, that's the second time out of Glendorf has taken the timeout and they've come back and not been able to get a point. Couple of great nuggets there, Nate. But that large lead for Bluffton pulled right back just a hair as a service ace gives the side out back to Ottawa Glendorf. Sienna Fry. Mind you, still just a junior. Yeah. And 
And just a tap over Gracie Yarnell, the setter being in the front row. She can't jump above the net, but still finds a way to tally another Bluffton point. Yeah, like I said, nothing fancy there. We've seen that a couple times from out from either side. They've done a nice job of being able to take power off, knowing when just to get that light touch over the net. And a little too tough to handle for Bluffton. Uh, they went right at Grandy that time, and she wasn't able to get out of the way or get that one back over. And she swaps out. Here's the serve from a Caitlin Kimmett. Receive is sent back over the top of the net. And kind of a nice in-air readjustment for Madison McKee to come up with the point. Hopefully this is, if you're a Titan fan, the start of a, a little rally here. Back-to-back -back points. Got this back within two. Trying to take some of this momentum back. And a hit from Kendall Stackhouse. Now Yarnell will go back to serve. Lainey Grandy checks in for the Lady Pirates. And Yarnell comes up short. Little help from the OG <laughs> student fast. section the there. The student section thinks that they, uh, they should get maybe half a point on that <laughs> one. The old seventh man section there. Is that how you would term that volleyball? It's got to be, right? right? Yeah, yeah I, I guess. See, the libero throws me off, though. There, there's like your seventh player right there. Sort of, but kind of, but not really. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you still only play with six. Good rally back and forth. One of our better volleys of the night. Fry just has to send it over the top on the third hit. Now the setter's out. And Stackhouse finds it in. Nice job rallying for Bluffton at the setter had the dig. When you have that happen, that's the perfect scenario for the attacking team is to get the setter out of the equation. And now you're at a sequence and you have to rally to the ball. Bluffton perfectly executed. Here's the next try for Buttlemeyer and she comes back alive as she comes back around to that very familiar and friendly front left. Titans now back to within two, and tension starting to continue to ratchet up in this set. And nearly. Yeah, they almost pulled that yep. one off, didn't they? Avery was right there, able to just get that one up, but ends up out of bounds, and now back to a one-point difference. Serve in for Ottawa Glendorf. Two players at the net there for Bluffton, but Sienna Fry well defended. Yeah, initially, I, I thought that Yarnell had had a, a great return back to the net as she was running out of bounds. But all the credit to Sienna Fry put herself in a great position there. We're all tied at 13. And a miss hit getting out of the Titans. Their first lead in quite some time. Tough pass for Yarnell, really just trying to keep the ball off the floor. Bluffton's going to ride this one out. Maybe the next point would be that time to talk this one over. And an ace falls in right on the back line. And we've seen that now at least twice here in this set where Bluffton's communication hasn't been great. They've let a serve go in. And you called it, Garrett. Timeout Pirates. We'll take it also back for more of the second set in an exciting district final match here from Miller City on WOSN. We return to Miller City where we have quite the back and forth. Bluffton took command early of the second set after winning the first set. And Ottawa Glandorf, though, has, there's been a fire that's been lit. Yeah, Ottawa Glandorf on a 9-3 run right now, giving themselves this two-point lead. Blocked up front on the attack from Fry. Yarnell just dumps it down. Now here's Buttlemeyer, dug out great by Warren. Third hit over for Bluffton. 
Look at that defense from Warren. To the back row, Ottawa Glandorf is able to keep the ball in the air. And it turns into an attack and score by Buttlemeyer. And that did not look like that was going to end well for the Titans a couple of different times, but they kept it alive, kept getting it back over the net. And now out to their largest lead at three. Addie Bellman, received by Talavini. And too long from Buttlemeyer. She wanted the tip and doesn't get the call. Salavinia will set it in. Received by Fry. Free ball, man, what a hit, but a great dig. Unbelievable dig. Another one from Crawfus. And Buttlemeyer responds. You see Crawfus excited as she should be. That is all her, as she had two huge digs to keep that one alive. And what seems to be the trend, you make a big play, your turn to serve. Crawfus. Sends it in. This, the OG side of the gymnasium is coming alive, and they're really back in the Titans here after every point. You see, and this is what to me makes a, a great server in the fact that you know you had all that emotion, you had this rally, your team's back up, you made two great plays, you recognize how big those are, and now it's like, all right, here's the ball, go serve. As you see a point go back to the Pirates, and Crawford was able to calm herself down and instead of sailing one deep or putting one in the net or trying to do too much, was able to get it over and at least got herself, her team one point during her turn. And this is a, a critical part of the set for Bluffton too, because this is where great teams come alive. Even when they're, they're backs against the wall, are you gonna step up and take care of business at hand rather than seeding for another set? They, they still have plenty of, of set left Although it shortens by one point and a huge block in the front row for Ottawa Landor. And both teams during that exchange were trying some soft touches, trying to lay some things into some open ground, wasn't working. So it went power on power. Ottawa Landorf won that one. Gracie Lammers serves it in to the middle for Laura. Did it look from up here that maybe we had been able to have a tip, but the officials say no. We're going to have another timeout by the Pirates. Ottawa Glendorf in command of the second set. Bluffton trying to regroup on WOSN. Ottawa Glendorf with the momentum in the second set looking to even the match to one set apiece. At one point in this one, they found themselves down 10 to six, and now it's gonna be a 14 to six run. But out of Glendorf, right of the ship after that, or excuse me, it's actually a 15 to five run. That point went to the Titans. So it has been all out of Glendorf since then. Had a player over center line for Bluffton. At least that's the interpretation of the call from our vantage point. Now it's go time for Bluffton as there is a long hit from Sienna Fry. The Titans give you one now to see if they can capture this. Yeah, you saw Fry. She's been able to put a lot of power on her strikes here tonight when she's gotten over the net. That time, though, didn't quite time or jump right. Got that one a little bit too high off the top part of her hand and sailed it. Ball just is going to turn into a Bluffton point. Kind of hung up there. We're going to get a ball handling air against Ottawa Glendorf. And I thought it looked like Ottawa Glendorf actually had kind of hit that one at, when it was on the other side of the net, too. So Blocked up front. That's going to miss the boundary. That one was awfully close, but the official was right there looking down the line and could see that it went out. Now the Titans 
They don't want this lead to evaporate too much more. Just one timeout remaining for both sides. Or excuse me, that's everybody's timeout. In the second set, seeing how valuable every point is. We'll be right back in a flash on WOSN. Dwindling in set number two. Both teams have used both of their timeouts. So this is the rest of set two. Either way, and Sienna Fry brings Ottawa Glandorf within three. It's Ottawa Glandorf finally breaking that trend of calling timeouts and then giving points up. Finally get one back. Received by Bluffton. Now Grandy with a big hit, dug out nicely by Lammers. And Grandy gets the forearm out there, keeps the ball alive. And nearly dug out by Cross, but it's now two points from the set for Ottawa Glendale. Yeah, it was great effort by Bluffton, twice able to keep that alive when it looked like it was destined to be a tight point. And finally, though, they kind of Ran out of space. Ottawa Glandorf now too closer to closing this set out. Service error on Fry. <laughs> Ayla Grandy. Received by Crawfus. Not a lot of room for air for Bluffton at this point of the set. Here's Ella White. Dug out by Cross. White again. Grandy. Nice job in the air. Stackhouse got the kill. Everything started to kind of drift towards the near side of the court, and that left a big, wide open space in that back corner. Bluffton does a nice job of getting the ball there, and now they're in within three. Nice serve. Forcing OG to play the ball. Stackhouse again. That's going to fall to the floor, and we're back to a two-point set. You know, we've seen the last maybe three exchanges right now. Ella White hasn't been able to get a lot on her return. She's been farther away from the net, haven't seen a, a lot of height. And almost a miscommunication as about half the OG players were looking at the bench when that serve came. Hawkinson and Ella Hawkinson a second tap and we got a one point contest. Pirates never gave up and they got themselves back in this one. Brandy serve met by Crawfus. Long pass for Bellman. Here's a set for Stackhouse. Nice dig for Fry. Great job by OG to rally to that ball. Hawkinson What a on the great finesse. placement. Hawkinson not trying to do too much there at all. I mean, that was beautiful, Garrett. Great volleyball on both sides. Defensively for OG. Great volleyball IQ for Hawkinson to just drop that in the middle. They're finally able to see White get a little bit more on at that time as you saw it kind of reach down. And it, it, this time, instead of it being an easy return for the Pirates, it ends up with being a point. Set one went 25-23 to Bluffton. Here we are, 24-23 OG in set two. As close as you can play these sets. And the serve from Kimmett. Here's Stackhouse, and just too tight to the boundary line. You know, that one looked like it was going to be a runaway, and Bluffton they clawed their way back in, made it close, but a great answer by the Titans to even this one up in one set apiece. One all will take the timeout and return for set three on WOSN. Starting set number three at Miller City, where our scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Starting set three, tied one apiece, and twin 25-23s in that first set. Garrett Mansfield with Nate Garlock tonight. 
And, you know, partner, this has been, you know, as advertised, that first set was just back and forth, back and forth. Nobody could break away, but set two was more of a set of runs. Yeah, and, you know, they all, they each had an answer. They each had big leads in that set. The other team was able to respond to that one. And you talked about how that second set was just absolutely vital for Ottawa Glandorf, and it was. But coming out of that set, do you really think that of the two teams, which one do you think feels the most confident? I, I got to believe it's Bluffton in the fact that they won the first set the way they did, and then they were able to weather that storm from Ottawa Glandorf, get themselves back within striking distance. The talking points in that huddle have to be, hey, look, guys, even when we're playing our worst, we're still able to be right there. Yep, exactly right. And Madison McKee gets the first tally for Ottawa Glandorf in this set. And we're going to get an ace for the Lady Titans. That's a very good point, Nate, because the way you respond to getting hit in the mouth is usually going to tell you where this match is going to go. And I mean, I'll tell you what, though, the, the more we move through this, this is starting to feel like a uh, home court advantage yeah. out of Glendorf. Sure. <laughs> Student section is growing. The fans are growing. Hey, right, right now, if you're out of Glendorf, you got to be feeling pretty good, too. Yep. Not a terribly long drive for Titan fans. And into the net it goes, 3-1. You know, as these, you know, we talked about the expansion of the postseason, and, you know, you're going to have more atmospheres like this. And, you know, this is just a great example of how a, a, a spot like Miller City is perfect for a game like this. You can get in and out pretty easily, you got plenty of seating, and it, it, you're closer to home, really. Yeah. You're not going out of the way. Uh, to, to play a district title game. Well, that in like you had you had talked about earlier, this isn't watering down the divisions. This isn't you know what some people feared when they expanded the divisions, which is oh you'll have a, a lot of teams who are playing as you have another point come this way. You're gonna have you know you're not gonna have a lot of teams who maybe don't deserve to be playing in a district final. It's the exact opposite. Yep. We have fantastic teams who have made it this far, and, and these matchups are incredible. Exactly right. The, the one the one thing that is nice is you're not going to have any more Tenora and Paulding playing at Springfield High School yes. when they could play <laughs> right elsewhere. Yes, at literally anywhere else. <laughs> True story. <laughs> yeah. True story. Two two schools separate. You know, you, you see that every so often. A couple of schools separated by a handful of miles, but got to go completely the other direction to play a district game. Here we're locked up four apiece. And Bluffton with the serve is Ayla Grandy. Keeps the rally going for Bluffton. Both teams and a rare miss pass for Addie Bellman. And just a little bit of miscue that time by Kimmett. Uh, she tried to do a, just a little bit of a layup, it looks like. Just wanted to soft touch it over the net. Missed time that one. And it's just the 10th air and all that, season with almost 700 total attempts for Bellman. And then you see Sienna Fry come over, and she's like, listen, this is how we got to soft touch it. Just a nice little lay over on the net. All square at five. Fry, serve met by Vanessa Cross. Here's the setup, Kendall Stackhouse. Ella White over the top, nice pancake, Avery Talavinia. Set for Hawkinson. Here's White again, nice dig. And Bellman. What a great setup that time. She did, she's able to do that with her whole body, too. I, everybody in the gym thought she was setting on that one. She set that up perfectly and fooled the entire Bluffton side as well. And she laid that in for a point. Fry with another serve. And Stackhouse's attack is dug out. 
Here's Caitlin Kimmett, and man, we got the pancake house here. Two of them in the last three rallies. Big hit, and nice job by Bluffton defensively, just rallying to the ball. White, another dig. And a and, desperation try. And Bluffton stopped playing as they were convinced they had a net violation. So they, they just stopped the point, and the officials never called it. The ball goes out, and the point goes to Ottawa Glandorf. Two-point advantage for the Titans. Kendall Stackhouse blocked partially. We got a whistle to kill the play. And four hits on Bluffton. That ball must not have made it over top of the net. Yeah, must not have. Hawkinson, big block, Caitlin Kimmett. You know, what, one of the things that's been interesting about this one so far, first, you know, through the first two and a quarter sets, is it really hasn't been the power game that has been the difference. It's been the finesse. It has been those soft touches, knowing where the, the empty spots are on the floor, knowing how to get it there, setting up like you're going to go with the power. It, it's been those types of plays that have been more important to these teams than just the, you know, just overarching power. Yeah. Gracie Yarnell serving up for Bluffton. Receive goes over the top. And Laney, Grandy. That was great placement. I'll tell you what, Grandy. She set that one right across diagonal through the floor, had a great angle at it. And OG had no chance to return it. Yarnell in the serve, and it's an ace. That helps you make up some points in a hurry. Yeah. Just kind of ate up Gracie Lammers that time. As it was good, good placement, got there quickly. Lambers didn't have much time to react to it. Here's Yarnell's serve for the third time in a row. Fry is able to get that third ball over the top. Set up for Kendall Stackhouse. Back for Ella White, and too tight. We're back to being all tied at nine. You got to give it to Bluffton. They have been down by four twice here in this set, and each time they've been able to rally, and now they got this one all tied up. And a free ball in the front for Kendall Stackhouse, and she converts. And yeah, Stackhouse did a great job of getting up high enough to be able to get over the net with that light touch without getting into it or under it. And they're <laughs> Miss malfunction here for Ottawa Glandorf. I think they were trying to sub. It didn't get to the official in time. There was a there was a whistle, and I think that OG side took that 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 meant that their whistle was for a substitution, but it was actually yep. for the service. Yep, and it's one of those when the up official makes that whistle, there's nothing you can do, and that's just a. Uh, uh, that's just a tough, tough way to give up a point. Either way you look at it. OG gets it back, though. A little long on that one. It was the right idea. Had a lot of space over there on the, in, on the floor, but a little bit too much on it. Caitlin Kimmett will serve. Received by Carly Laura. Long pass for Kendall Stackhouse, and she plants that one right in front. Of Gracie Lammers. Yeah, Stackhouse is playing really good here tonight. We've been able to see her, we, you know, keep kind of talking about that finesse versus power. She has shown that she's able to do both at a high level. For the two point spread, as we get near the halfway point of the set, Ottawa Glandorf wants to take a timeout, talk it over. We'll do the same on WOSN. Twelve ten, Bluffton with a slight advantage in the third set. This is pivotal. Both teams split the first two sets, and it's gonna be a Bluffton point after four hits for OG. Gives them a three-point cushion, but 
about as tight as things can be back and forth here, Nate, through the, the first now two and a half sets. You know, it really is, a, you know, tied at one set apiece. But like we said coming into this set, uh, you know, Bluffton just feels like they got a little bit more of an edge. Even though they lost that second set, they've been able to carry momentum, get things going back in their direction. They started down in this set. We were down two different times. And, you know, they've been able to turn that now into a four-point lead. Maya McLaughlin gets in for Ottawa Glandorf. And it's going to be, I think, two touches. Yep, that's the call. Subs coming in for Ottawa Glandorf. Marley Buttlemeyer for McLaughlin. And for White, Greta Liebrix will sub and she'll serve. 14-11, very close contest throughout. Buttlemeyer and the attack air gives Bluffton a 15-11 advantage. Right now, OG still trying to figure some stuff out and work through this. It's a little bit of a lull that they've had with Seen some good substitution coming come in, but so far they haven't been able to take advantage. Avery Talavinia with the serve. Goes over from Grandy, and she keeps on the OG side. And a long pass, hammer to the back end, and Beautiful. Lady Grandy. Coffin's corner back there. That was, I mean, Gr Grandy did a fantastic job as she was able to just kind of get it back there in that corner, laid it in there nicely. And uh, Ayla Grandy started that whole thing with a great challenge at the net. So the freshman comes up with, I think that's her third kill tonight. And a big hit for Ottawa Glendor, powerful enough, weird angle for Bluffton to return it. And Televinia has tried to see if she couldn't get it back quickly, but Kind of had to take like a wave at it when she was trying to return it. Took a bad angle. And OG now with the serve. And Bellman did the honors. Look at that. Carly uh -huh. Laura, big hit. I haven't said her name too much here today, but comes up with a big hit in a big spot. Laura along with Stackhouse, second team, all conference in the Northwest Conference. Two of their Top options in that front row. Here, Vanessa Cross serves it in for the Pirates. And kicked over! But, and Bluffton <laughs> keeps it alive! Uh, like, you have to get the point after that, right? They you do. can't have that kind of, of save to keep that ball alive and not Unreal. get the point. Unreal. I've seen two of those during the college season this year. But that is something else right there. Kick save and a beauty. And it on the heels, a service ace for Vanessa Cross. And the Titans right now reeling a little bit, down seven. And here comes a timeout. And without a doubt, the largest lead of the night for Bluffton, and it triggers another Titan TO. We'll take it also back for set three next on WOSN. Nineteen twelve Bluffton with a, a basket full of momentum right now. Ottawa Glandorf looking to put out this fire in set three in a pivotal third set tonight. Nice job, Bellman, keeping that ball in the air, but Bubblemeyer, a little miscue, and it's 2012, a commanding third set lead right now for the Lady Pirates. Yeah, Marley Bubblemeyer that time, I think just lost where she was on the floor. I think she thought she was a little bit closer to the net and was gonna have an, an easy push over, but too far away, square into the net. And right now, it is all Bluffton Pirates. Dug out by Warren, and now Grandy. OG can't bring it back. 21-12. This has been a little surprising. It's just like all that tension 
And all that friction as they get another point. You know, you're almost like two tectonic plates right at each other until one slips. And right now it's Bluffton that is on the top end and taking advantage. Well, and another part of this too is it's been a long time since Ottawa Glandorf has had to face any sort of adversity. Yeah. You know, win streaks are great. And, you know, nobody wants to lose games. But what they do, they're not all win streaks are built the same. And if you're not challenged at some point in those, and it's been a while since you felt yourself being drugged in the deep water, it's hard to go back and pull that out and, and get back into that frame of mind that you need. Yeah, probably the, the, the one that was the, the last really hard battle was that Shawnee match at the beginning of the month. And there's a big hit for Ayla Grandy. You know, and even in that hard match, right, they, there's only a four-setter. They yep. win 3-1. They never really find themselves down at, at any point like what they're facing right now. You'd have to go all the way back to that loss to uh, Oregon Clay six, seven weeks yep. ago at this point to find the last time they have gone through something like this. But the, the fun part about this game is you get through the set. Doesn't matter if it's 24, 25, 12, or 25, 23 as we've had tonight. It gets reset to 0-0, zero, zero, and you have a chance to go out. And now Ottawa Glendorf, after Bluffton takes the set, they're fighting for their season when we come back. 25-12, Bluffton with a 2-1 set advantage after three on WOSN. Back at Miller City, where our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a, a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 2-1 set advantage for Bluffton as we start the fourth. Winner of this contest gets the winner of Eastwood and Archbold and one of the other Northwest districts on the regionals. Archbold 20-4, Eastwood 19-5. So we were talking throughout the match tonight, Nate. The road does not get any easier, not and it's not stretch. supposed to. Nope. Like, so you know, you you have, you know, you, you kind of have all these yeah, when you get divisions to redrawn, and it kind of sets the rack a, a little differently. Yep, and I and I think as everybody gets more used to this, and you know, this will be a good thing to look back on five years from now. Sure. At how coaches handled scheduling and, and handling all these different things, but right now. Things are looking really well. The schools have handled this extremely well, and that's why we have really good matchups here for this district final. First point goes to Bluffton, defending the net well, despite a good swing from Caitlin Kimmett. Libby Hawkinson, the junior, all honorable mention in the NWC. Ball comes over. They just got to give it up. Bellman, long serve, or long set, I should say, and Buttlemeyer hits it out the back. So if you're the OG Titan coach, Garrett, how long do you go in this set? Right. You know you got the, your, your timeouts that you can use. You're not going to be able to take them with you anyway. You know, how long do you let this run go to start this before you're like, all right, we, we got to take a break here and trying to use them strategically. That helps right there, getting that point right, right there. But you, you want to be strategic. Yep. We saw that in the first set. A lot. Both teams did it. I think when things were close, they've had an early trigger here tonight. How short do you think that leash is here in yeah. the set? Yeah, this one, you, you got to keep it right there. I think every adjustment needs to be urgent, right? There's another attack and score. That time, Carly Laura, 3 1 with the Bluffton upper hand. And we've seen tonight, Ottawa Glendorf not afraid to take those quick trigger not timeouts. Not at all, yeah. Here's Fry, great dig. Talavinia. Bellman, long set for Buttlemeyer. Dug out again. Buttlemeyer, another dig. Grandy, and has... Greta Liebrecht kind of handcuffed. Yeah, Liebrecht just in a, in a bad spot. Not her fault, but Grandy did a nice job because if Liebrecht's not there, that's going out. That is not going to stay in. 
but because she did such a good job of knowing where to go on the floor with it, excuse me, the Pirates end up with another point. Yeah. That's one thing that probably makes Grandy so tough to defend. She just has a different angle in which she hits the ball, so it's not like you're you're seeing the, the same ball from Laura or Stackhouse where Grandy coming almost right at you. Yeah, and make no mistake about it, it is deliberate. It's not, I'm just going to hit and see what happens. She's yep. very deliberate where she puts her yep. shots. Service air hands the rally back to Bluffton, up 5-2. And Vanessa Cross will do the honors for the Lady Pirates. Attack for Fry, and she gets the big kill. Titans looking for signs of life, and that is it right there. And it's been a while since we've seen Sienna Fry be able to get a hold of one. But she definitely unleashed that power she has on that shot. Laura receives the serve, and now Cross has to send it over. Bellman backs at Fry, blocked by Grandy. What a block at the net. D9. Gracie Warren checks out, giving way for Libby Hawkinson. And number nine came in. I don't have nine on, don't on my either. roster. She just came in to take that serve. Comes up with a big dig, though. It's going to send it out. And the key that time, she just got a little bit on her back foot as she went up. So she's almost leaning backwards when she hit that ball. And that's why you saw that sail so high and out. So there's the service air on Bluffton 7 4. They'll swap it, Carly Laura back in. And you can see the Pirate bench really excited to get uh, whoever nine is back over there. So must have been a big moment for her. We saw a good serve and a good dig out of her on that time out on the floor. Yarnell with a creative set. Now Fry and not much Laura could do with it. 7-5 still tight. Ottawa Glendorf needs to win this set to keep the match alive. You know, we've seen Bluffton be able to handcuff a, diff, a couple of different uh, Titan players tonight. It's really the first time that we've seen OG do it to one of the Bluffton players, and it was very timely. And Sienna Fry miss hit on the serve. Ayla Grandy will serve it up for Bluffton next. Lady Pirates. Come up with another ace. Just out of sync right now, it seems like. You know, that we saw here early, they seem to always kind of be in the right positioning where they needed to be. And right now, every time that they're trying to get their hands on one of these balls to dig it out or to send it forward, it just doesn't seem to be anybody in the position they need them to be. Ella White comes through, but a huge play. Vanessa Cross with a dig and the third hit, but the Lady Titans come back. And that, and that was the key. That time you saw her timer jump jump up better, a lot more straight up and down as she returned that one. And good job by the entire Titan team not getting down as they saw that first one that went over. It looked like it probably should have went for their point, but they didn't get down. They stayed with it, and they came away with the point anyway. Crawford's on that last serve. And White. It's going to be a freebie at the net. And... Won by the Titans. Yarnell went down uh, kind of awkwardly, but popped right back up. Yeah, I think Yarnell was trying her own kick save at that point when she lost that <laughs> challenge at the net, but sent it forward instead of up. Here Yarnell gets to the set. Now Stackhouse with a try. I think that bounced. It did. And then there was just a collision back there. Some friendly fire. As uh, you see, Talavina and uh, Vanessa Cross got into each other. So Gracie Yarnell to serve it. 
Finds Gracie Lammers, and now White gets the kill for OG. OG hanging around, just two points right now. Right within striking distance, it's almost like, I think they're about to that place where you get that right rotation in that front row where you really like to go on a run. Might be a turner, turn away from that. Here's Stackhouse, blocked up front, and it continues on the Bluffton end. Now Hawkinson, ooh, that was close. I saw daylight from up here. Yeah, and the official changed it very quickly, and they initially went to go put it down and pulled it back, and that was the right call. She had that realization in the moment that, hey, nope, that's actually out. Here's Liebrich. And they go over from Stackhouse. And Kimmett with the attack for the Titans. And we're even, 10 all. And you know, this set has seemed like it's been all Bluffton. They felt like they've had all the momentum, but Anna McGlandorf just kept clawing back, clawing back, and now it's all tied here at 10. Stackhouse, great dig by Fry. Now Buttlemeyer out the backside. Uh, we've seen that out of Buttlemeyer quite a bit here in the last two sets. She's just a little bit off on her timing and hasn't been able to kind of hone that in as she's been sending quite a few long. Libby Hawkinson into the net. Gracie Warren checks back in. Now here's Addy Bellman to serve it up for OG. 11 all. You got Kim and Fry up front right now with Buttlemeyer. OG's gonna, even their presence just causes a miscue. Bellman will serve it back up. And Warren. Knew it immediately when she had it, when she received. Ball just took a hard right turn. Bluffton on a nice little run here. Got themselves out to a two-point lead. But as we've seen, Bluffton has always seemed to have an answer. Bellman's next serve. That time Warren plays it clean. Set for Stackhouse and converts. Stackhouse continuing just to play really great here uh, this afternoon or this evening. Uh, we've seen her have some really big hits. She's done a nice job for them on that front line. Talavinia on the, uh, the serve. Here's Laura, and that gets a little bit of a help from the top of the tape. 13 all. Alavinia again, short serve. And a kill from Ayla Grandy. Grandy has been everything that the Pirates have needed her to be here tonight so far. She's come up big in almost every position. She's had some really big points, some big kills. We've seen her do a lot of really good work here tonight. Big time kill when the Titans needed it from Caitlin Kimmett. Now it's her time to serve. 14 all. Now this is Laney Grandy. It's dug out by the Titans. Now Ayla dug out by Liebrich. And there's a Fry smash. And Sienna Fry there. As you saw, Gandy was, or Grandy, excuse me, she was also there for the challenge. Grandy's been able to get her hands on a couple of those from Fry, but Fry that time, very quick with the return. And Grandy made that hard to handle for Ottawa Glandorf. Back to a 15 15 all. Now it's a race to 10 if you will. That's just one of those quick reflexes plays. 
Granny just kind of happened to see the ball come across her face quickly. And nice job getting that back over, and good things happen. Back set to Fry. Dug by Warren. Long set for Ayla Grandy. Titans dig it out. And Fry had to force the issue there. And Grandy gets a deflection. Pirates by one. We said Bluffton has always seemed to have an answer. And they have yet again. It's down two, now a one point lead. Vanessa Cross serves it. Bumped over. Nicely defended by Bluffton, just not able to get the ball to go where they needed it. And Grandy did all about all she could on that one. Kind of stuck her hand out, just trying to give her team a chance. But unfortunately, all of her teammates were down on the other half of the floor and just couldn't get there in time to return it. Gracie Lammers in the serve. Set to Laura. And we're going to get Ottawa Glandorf over center line. But that, that is just an unfortunate call. Did you say that went? Yeah, that went to uh, um, to Bluffton. That's an unfortunate call for the Titans because it wasn't the greatest return. It looked like Bluffton was a little bit out of sorts there. Maybe something that the Titans could have taken advantage of. Unforced errors really have been an issue here for Ottawa Glandor. Another attacking error on the Titans. Set for Fry. Now here's Grandy on the attack. Dug out by Kloppis. Over ball and OG can't return the play. Timeout Ottawa Glandorf 19-16. Starting to see their season hang by a thread. They're gonna talk this one over and we'll be back to Miller City on WOSN. Welcome back to Miller City. Bluffton by three in the fourth set of this district championship. Ottawa Glandorf, though, comes back with a point out of their own timeout. Huge score for the Titans. Playing for their season right here down the stretch. And you felt like that's what they needed the most, especially coming out of that timeout. A great response by Ottawa Glandorf. You know, in these deciding sets, I've always felt like the race to 20 is yeah. the most important. And you got Bluffton right there, but Ottawa Glendorf staying close. One point set now. It was 25-23 Bluffton in set one. OG took the second 25-23. Bluffton got red hot in the third and took that set 25-12. And they've been in control much of this fourth, but Ottawa Glandorf with a nice burst of energy. A little soft hit by Hawkinson. Here's Ella White. And Talavinia got to the ball, but a little too much under it. Just trying to keep the play going. 19 all. And what a great job taking a timeout right there for the Titans. It has really turned the time for them. They've got on a nice run, 19-19. Here's Hawkinson. And look at that. Second hit by Bellman, saved the play. Long set from Yarnell, and she got the touch after hammering that Ayla Grandy. 2019 Bluffton. Big time plays coming down the pipe. Fry, Grandy digs it. Kendall Stackhouse, but it's dug nicely. And there's a clutch kill for Madison McKee. 2020 set for Ottawa Glandorf trying to hang on 
tell you what, this is what championship finals are supposed to yep, feel like. That's exactly right. Winner moves on to the regional. Stackhouse, add one to the Bluffton side. Laney Grandy will check in for the Lady Pirates. It's been a long time coming for the Lady Pirates of Bluffton. Been quite a ways to try to look to see when the last Bluffton district title was as OG answers the call. It's been quite a while. I couldn't find one in the last 10 years. But they're on their fifth straight winning season. So they've been building to this moment. Or as for Ottawa Glandorf, These district titles are what their programs are used to playing for. But it's been five years since the last one for OG, and they're a point closer to extending that hope in this fourth set. And timeout Bluffton, Coach King wisely wants to get everybody focused as we have just a handful of points to play for in this fourth set, 21-22. OG, be back after this on WOSN. Number one versus number two seed in the district and the championship game of the district. And Ottawa Glandor needing points to keep their season going. It gets a big one out of the break. And that's the first time tonight that Bluffton has not scored coming out of a timeout. No bigger time for a defensive standing right there for the Titans. Stackhouse blocked by Caitlin Kimmett. I'll tell you what, the, I mean, the turn that this set has taken Garrett over the last 10 to 15 points has just really been incredible. Set point OG. Yarnell to Stackhouse. Dug out nicely by Liebrich. Now here's Buttlemeyer, dig by Laura. Set for Stackhouse. OG's got an answer. Nice dig, Talavinia. Now Stackhouse from Yarnell. Count it for Bluffton. Bluffton not going away yet. They've been able to answer any OG run. And we saw them do this pretty much this exact same thing in the second set. They're not ready. They'd like to end this now. They don't want to see a fifth set. And, and what a great play. That's the second time tonight we've seen her do that where everybody in the gym thinks that she is going to set it, and in the last minute, she dumps it off, completely caught Bluffton off guard, and it gives her team the set. Addie Bellman comes through in the clutch, 25-22. We got a decisive fifth for the district title, and it's next on WOSN. Our score 49 is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Fifth set, this is for all the marbles in a district championship on the other end of the first to 15. That's how they do these, two sets apiece, 25-23 Bluffton, 25-23 OG, 25-12 Bluffton, and then 25-22 Ottawa Glandorf. We're underway with a serve from Libby Hawkinson. First point could be crucial. And Laura, we got a Titan in the net trying to defend Laura. It was Addie Bellman, in fact. You know, that has been the biggest issue tonight for Ottawa Glandorf is those, those mental mistakes, those little errors, unforced ones that give free points to Bluffton. And nice little tip drill, Caitlin Kimmett evens us up at one apiece. Well, when you're going to 15, every point is just magnified. And we've had close affairs the entire night, except for the fourth set. It started close, and Bluffton ran away as that's a receiver on Warren. 
But Ottawa Glendale was up two to one. Yeah, that, that third set between these two really is kind of an outlier. Not really what, uh, not real indicative of how competitive this entire game has been so far. Great hit from Carly Laura. Just wound up and planted that one. 2-2. Two -two. And a miss serve to Avelinia. 3-2 OG. Yeah, that, that's a brutal mistake right there. Tavellinia is the best server on this team. 192 points, 94% in serving. But those are the ones in the moments that you think that she's at least going to be able to get you a couple. That, that one hurts for Bluffton. Great dig for Warren. Set for Fry. Going to go over. And Madison McKee. We saw McKee earlier in that, I believe it was the third set, have some mistakes, sent the ball out long, just kind of in bad positioning. But she has been playing great since, and a big point right there in front of Glandorf. How about it? Ayla Grandy gets bluffed and right. And all else fails. Let Grandy go to work up at the front of the net, bound to have something good happen. Junior Vanessa Cross serving next. Crawfus with the receive. Bellman for Fry and a block. It's Grandy and Laura who team up for it. Square at four. You know, I felt like back a couple of points ago really was the first time it, it kind of looked like you could see that body language from Bluffton not being great, but it did not last very long. They have bounced back. Cross with a heck of a dig. Answered by Carly Crawfus. And they're going to whistle that play dead. Thought it was a block, and uh, OG, oh they just played through it until somebody stops, but which is what you should yep. do. That's what hurt Bluffton in the last set. Cross with the serve, short. And they're going to get bailed out by a, a third rotation air tonight for OG. And that's a big bailout because Cross completely missed time to jump on that one. That one was going to have no chance of getting over. Next serve goes up. Bellman, near side to McKee. Tavellini got under it, Cross saves it, and the Pirates rally. Great hustle to keep that one alive. And that's going to just be a tough place to set for Yarnell. She already had to be careful about the center line. By a McLaughlin on the serve for Ottawa Glendale. Tough pass for Bellman. Cross with a diving dig, and that got her out of position. Opened up the play for Ottawa Glendorf, 6 6. And McKee with a great job on the block. Didn't have to do anything, because as you mentioned, Bluffton out of position. Nobody in the back to go and gather that one in. By a McLaughlin again. Yarnell. Pass for Grandy. Crawfus digs it out. Now here's Ella White. Grandy sticks a bow out there and keeps the ball in the air. A broken play for OG. Still turns out, but it is Gracie Yarnell. Yarnell giving Ottawa Glandor some of their own medicine that time. Is. That was a great setup. Looked like she was going to complete the set and then just carried it over the net. Carly Laura. Received by Fry, and ooh, a bad set for Bellman, but Fry is able to get it over to the Bluffton end. Grandy with a good attack, and look at that defense for OG. Now here's Hawkinson, blocked up front by McKee. Grandy, power, landed it in the back corner. 
What placement. We talked about Grandy and her accuracy all night long, and it comes up big right there. A, grand, a dandy from Grandy, and it forces an OG timeout. We'll take the break. 8-6 in the fifth, first to 15 when we come back. A whale of a volleyball match tonight at Miller City. Number one seed of the district, Bluffton. Number two seeded, Ottawa Glandor. Lady Pirates with an 8-6 lead. Ottawa Glandor have had to rally to force a fifth set, and they did so successfully, as you see. Yarnell to Grandy, and she comes through with another clutch kill. It is really difficult to get clean blocks on her shots with the power that she hits. And you saw right there, even when you feel like you're in good position, they still find a way through. Off the top of the net from uh, Carly Laura, landed outside of the boundary. It was good placement. Uh, you know, the net obviously kicked it at a different angle, but there's a good chance that that one would have fell in for an ace if it hadn't got tied up. Sienna Fry serving for OG. Yarnell back pass to Grandy, and she comes through again. And yeah, they got a mismatch on that side they're trying to exploit right now. Grandy, when, she, when she's down there on that front line, is getting matched up with Bellman, who Bellman just cannot get high enough to really challenge Grandy. Ella White. And the uh, Pirates come through. Bellman to McKee, nobody back there. Great decision by McKee that time. She could have loaded up and tried to go with the power shot, but read the defense perfectly and dropped it in for an easy one. Carly Crawfus to serve it up. Garnett long pass to Kendall Stackhouse. Dug by Fry. And some miscommunication. Yeah, Stackhouse started to go for it. And I don't know if Talavinia called her off or if Stackhouse was letting her know that it was her ball to get, but either way, a big miscommunication there on the, on the point. Here's a pass for Stackhouse just out the back end. 10-10. Stack, Stackhouse a little bit too much, and she's frustrated. This is a good timeout, because you can see Stackhouse and a couple other players wearing that frustration. Yeah, on this 10 all game right now. We'll take the break and return. This district final match as advertised, even Steven when we come back. Well, when you dream about district championship contests, this is the kind of stuff you're thinking about. Tide 10-10 in the fifth set. And Stackhouse blocked. She took a big swing. But Bellman and Kimmett there for OG. Yeah, and they're going to need Stackhouse to kind of rally mentally right now. She's looking pretty frustrated. They're going to need her these last couple of points. Yarnell goes back to her. And another attack from Kimmett. Ottawa Glandor with a two-point advantage. You know, we mentioned it a couple of different times, Garrett, but these are the types of matchups that people thought we would get with these expanded yep. playoffs. This is what we wanted, and we're getting every bit of it here tonight. Yarnell, bad set. And this might be time for the last timeout for Bluffton. Coach King will take it, and we'll step aside as well. Pandemonium for the blue and gold right now. We'll see if they finish it out or if Bluffton has one more rally in them on WOSN. Ottawa Glandor with a three point advantage in the fifth set, Bluffton. Long set, and that is going to be a free point for Ottawa Glandorf. 
No room for air now. And, and unfortunately, you, you can just see it on Stackhouse right now. She's having a hard time shaking off some of the things that have happened here in this one. And miscommunication coming out of that timeout. She gets a good hit through there. In the middle, and that is going to fall. And lightning strikes for the OG Titans for the first time since 2020. The Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans are district champions with a thrilling five-set victory over the Bluffton Lady Pirates. It's, this was a tremendous game. It lived up to all the hype. Ottawa Glandor found themselves down big, and they were on the wrong side of a big third loss, or third set loss, excuse me, 25 to 12. Seemed like all the momentum was on Bluffton side. And Ottawa Glandorf snatched that back away. They come into that fifth set. We're down a few even then, but they kept going. They got Bluffton out of their games, and, and they just kept pounding at them. And then eventually it paid off in a big district title win. Season comes to a close for Bluffton at 20 and four. A whale of a season. One of the best ever in Bluffton Pirate Volleyball history. Ottawa Glandorf adds to the trophy case with another district crown, a WBL title along with it, and they will advance to the regional to play either Eastwood or Archbold. A huge, huge win. Again, your set finals, 25-23 Bluffton, 25-23 OG, 25-12 Bluffton, OG, 25-22 in the fourth to force the fifth, and then Broke a 10-10 tie with a five-point sprint to the end to take it all, 15-10. I'm out of breath, Nate. I mean, I... Yeah, I, I, listen, <laughs> this lived up to everything that it needed to be. You know, we were just talking, look, this is the type of matchups that we thought we would get in these title games at the district level when you went to these expanded playoffs and you moved things around. This is what we wanted. We got it. And, yep. it, and it lived up to the hype. And it, it did so indeed. Congratulations to Coach King and Bluffton on a sensational season. And for Ottawa Glandor, head coach Maddie Howenstein, the WBL Coach of the Year. You got the WBL Player of the Year, and they live to fight another round. They'll take on, again, either Eastwood or Archbold in the regional at the Elida Fieldhouse. That'll do it for us here from Miller City. Thanks to the entire staff here at the home of the Wildcats for taking care of us tonight. From Megan Sherrick on camera and in the studio, he's Nate Garlock. I'm Garrett Mansfield saying good night from Miller City.